Let me do a pet peeve while this. Y'all done got me, y'all done got me open now. People. I'm gonna get a pet peeve. When I'm when I get on the church van, I just assume that the radio will be set to Zion song. Right, <laughs> instead of the beep bop the boop. I just I just assume. Am I assuming? <laughs> Am I assuming wrong? Is that is that is that me? Am I just? Do I just? Is that me? Well, maybe a maybe a ch child put it there. Maybe a kid. Put it but if it's always there, I think. <laughs> Hello, son. That's right. Well, I never turn. I never turn it on for life. I don't turn it can, on. Can, can we? Hello, son. I, I, I need to just walk yes. away. Leave that alone. Yeah. But, but answer the question. I think even in our transition, we got to remember, we just can't get just anybody. Amen. Just to fill a spot. Just to fill a spot. That's right. We got to get folk that really... Love the Lord. Yes. Right? You have a lifestyle of love for the Lord. Am, am I right about it? Yes. Am I just getting too strict? Yeah. No, no, you're not strict. That's, That's the word. word. That's the 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 word. Because we're supposed to be representing Jesus. We're supposed to represent Jesus in all that we say. We one body of Christ. We're the same way. And to get people, even in our day and time, we say people seem to hold just regular people to the same standard of a, of a pastor. I get complaints about folk that probably ain't going to be nowhere near I am. Meaning, you know, I've been living for the Lord since I was little. And we got some new folk that are saved and they're trying to do stuff. We can't hold them to that same kind of standard. You know what I'm saying? Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, we got to, there must be qualifications, but also we have to uh, leave folk room to grow. Right. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Yes. Because ain't none of us perfect. That's right. Amen. But just, just, let me just take a poll. I've probably been living for the Lord maybe about 20 years altogether. Anybody been living for the Lord maybe 25 years? Hold your hands up. Okay, in that 25 years of living, have you guys been perfect? <laughs> still not. Still, 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 you said maybe at 25 and a half you get perfect. No, 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 no. <laughs> so, so, so don't get me wrong. I'm not saying that we have to be perfect to right. serve. Right. I'm not right. saying that. Right. But I am saying that we just just can't get just anybody to serve. Right. We've got to have a Christ-like lifestyle. And, and we have to when we're looking to uh, make transitions. We got to just we just can't just accept anybody who who says yeah yeah. We, we have to make sure they have the right kind of lifestyle. Amen. Is that right? Amen. Amen. Any questions, comments, or concerns about tonight's lesson? Again, good. how to handle transition in ministry, you can say how to handle transition in life. Amen. Number one thing we have to do is we have to pray. Pray, pray, pray. Nothing else. Uh, and that's what this part of Wednesday night is about. Right here. Right. It's about prayer. And I've gotten some names that I've, I've written down that I'm going to pray about that some of you have mentioned before. Uh, pray for our 1001. This is real life church business. And have you noticed when we started going back to this? Church life seems to have changed just right. a bit. Mm -hmm. We put, we do keep the main thing, the main thing. We right. pray. Amen. God listens. Amen. And even though some of the people that we hear are not here in our sanctuary, we often hear about 